Baba, na and uh, your interview strictly. I'll be doing a lot of English uh, in this interview for purposes of uh, my guest who happens to be someone who does not understand the Chi language. Um, the American United, I want to say, never be your interview. Be what you say, oh, who know, a year, never, 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 my gun, and more. Now, a day, say, will be to me, a who know. And so, straight away, let me welcome my guest. Your name, uh, Dominic Brown. Dominic Brown, yes, from where. From Germany, from the south of Germany, is a city called Stuttgart. So you came all the way from Stuttgart. Exactly, I came nine days ago from uh, from Vienna, actually, where I live right now, to visit Ghana. Yeah. And um, what exactly is your mission? Um, I am. My father is a Ghanaian. My mother is German. And I'm in Ghana to search for my father. So I don't know him and I didn't see him for 26 years now. So that is my purpose. Okay, we, we will come to the description. And so if you are watching, you can prompt anyone who is looking for the sun, uh, thinking the sun is lost somewhere in Germany. Uh, it, it could possibly be uh, your son. He could possibly be your son. So uh, by the end of this interview, we hope to get some results. Because this is not the first time we've done a series of interviews this way. And uh, we ended up reuniting some families. And so we pray this also gives such positive results. Uh, first of all, why do you want to see your dad? Um, I was always pretty happy living without my dad in Europe. But in the last few years, I had the urge more and more to find my dad and kind of to know where I come from, what is the other half of my origin. And now I know that he's getting older too. I, right now, I really felt uh, the need to go to Ghana and find him. Okay, you're talking of thinking he's getting old. Do you have a fair idea of his the date he was born? and so be able to calculate and know his age by now yes uh, when he came to germany when he applied for asylum he stated that he's born in 1963 so is he is 54 right now okay okay um that means your dad came to germany yes exactly he came to germany um according to my mother to um study uh, medicine and become a doctor in germany this was his idea so that was when he met your mom? Exactly. He met my mom in the suburbs of Stuttgart and they got to know each other apparently. Okay, okay. Uh, is your mom still alive? My mom is still alive. She's living in, uh, yeah, two in the suburbs of Stuttgart right now. Yeah, like always. Okay. And um, is she, has she remarried? Is she having any other kids? Do you have any siblings? I have no siblings and my mother did not marry again, no. So I'm the only child. Is your mother as worried as you are now looking for your dad? No, she's not. Not at all. She's like, I, gu I guess she broke this connection. And it's basically only my concern now. Yeah. But she does not give me very good information about all the, the things that happened. So I'm not aware exactly how things went down because I was very, very little at that time. Um, help us with a bit of information that will lead us to, uh, if someone is watching, be able to st tell if this man working uh, could be your dad. Yeah, so basically what I know is that the name of my father is Peter Brown. So that already led me kind of to think that he's from the central region of Ghana. Like Ghanaian people told me that. Then also I know that the letters he wrote my mother so there are four letters he wrote my mother when he came back to ghana and they were addressed from a po box from the national um, investment bank in accra so this is one of my main leads because he sent the, the letters from there but of course this is 20 years ago but yeah this is the these are the leads i have he apparently knew some people at the national investment bank and I also went to Cape Coast to see that there is a family where everybody is named Peter Brown, every male. So it's very likely that he is among the siblings of this big family originated in Cape Coast. These are the two leads I have. So if someone comes out now to say, I am Peter Brown, 
how do you then tell if that is truly your biological father? I probably have to look how he looks and also I have to would, um, ask him some questions about Germany because I know the places he has been and it's not probably not so easy that he knows. So this would uh, be the, uh, the questions I would ask. Okay. I think a DNA would also be bad, a DNA test. DNA test wouldn't be bad if possible, yeah. But it should be possible with, without that. So he basically knows the place where my mother lived and lives and he knows the village. He will have detailed information. So it, it will be possible to, uh, to identify my father. So will you classify yourself as a Ghanaian, knowing your other half is from Ghana? I actually felt all the time a lot like German through and through because I'm born and raised in Germany. The only thing I had is I always look, looked what is happening in Ghana in the media and I cheer for the Black Stars if they don't play against Germany. These are, the, these are basically this my Ghanaian connection until now. Okay, that means any time Ghana was playing against any nation, you supported Ghana? Yes, I supported Ghana. I watched the most of international games of, of Ghana. So uh, back to our main reason for this interview. From Cape Coast, that is your um, prediction uh, based on the information you have. And do um, you by chance know whether he was tall, he was short, he was... Did, did you see any picture of him to give us some physical description of him? I don't have a picture, but he is very tall. Tall and... Yeah, he's not a huge man, like bodybuilding man. He's very tall and slim. I don't know the word. A, a very tall man, but away from that... It's so long ago, I don't have more information about his appearance. When was the last time you saw him? I have some um, remembrances um, when I was three years old that he was in front of our house. He smoked a cigarette and there was my mom and it was clear that he will go back and he kind of said, yeah, bye bye to me. But as a three year old, this is very, not very clear, this, this um, um, yeah, remembrance. How does it feel like with all these memories and not seeing him? How have you coped so far? Um, I've, it's as I said, it's it feels okay for me. It's more it's more a big uh, interest. I'm just interested in how he is. If I can see him in myself, actually, like it is with people from Cape Coast. I look at people in my age and think. This could also have been have me myself. Yeah, it's uh, it's not. I'm not angry. I'm not. I have no, no negative feelings. Actually, I'm just very uh, interested. Um, and so, if you just joined us, uh, the name again is Dominic Brown. Okay, Dominic, a Ghanaian name, and the Brown uh, probably. I think you got it from your dad. Yes, yes. Okay, and he is in Ghana uh, to look for his lost that uh, he has been for how many years now has did he have calculating back uh, from when he left Germany how many years do you think that will be so my dad came to Germany um, in probably 1985 and then he got to know my mother and I'm born in 1987 and then since I seen him last time when I was about three, he left Germany again 1990. So anybody out there that was in Germany at that time, in the south of Germany, you could be my father. Was he deported or he left on his own volition? He was kind of deported. It wasn't. It's not deported. He, his the, the thing he wanted to do was not approved. He could not do that studying medicine at the University of Stuttgart. So the name again is Peter Brown? Yes, Peter Brown. Okay, so if you know uh, any man in his uh, late 50s or probably 54 years, that is your calculation, um, who has been in Germany, try and let's uh, get in touch and then see if we can help. You can contact me personally, uh, have his contact and then we will see how we can link up.
and then uh, make you see him. I, um, putting your number wouldn't be so healthy. That is why I will want to directly uh, liaise with you, um, as in who. Whoever. You just inbox me, and then we see how we can pick it uh, from that end, and then uh, we, 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 we will see. Do you have any last words uh, for our viewers? Um, yes. I'm very, I'm not surprised, but I think Ghana is actually an awesome country and I'm surprised how free everything here is and how nice the people are. For example, I came here to do this today and we did it immediately. Would never have been possible in Germany. Yeah, never. So, yeah, thank you a lot to everybody. Thank you too. Um, I've done this before and we had results. And I believe this will also give us some positive results. Um, let me just give you a quick summary of the interview we had. Many of them were in Komoe, and then some of them were in Komoe, Papa Ed Peter Brown, now, or by Germany, or Free Hobe, 1990, as I bought my gun, and I said, no, I said, oh, see, I didn't, and basically, asylum, Kakra, sent a bit to me, I was school, I was a doctor. Now, and no one was here, and I was in Stuttgart. And I'm so I'm a woman at nine say I wife for my career, you know, who free mobile. Uh, one in a mommy, uh, make us say no, uh, woman take, then so no, Bribian or Kaiser, and if I be a woman, my gynamo, and in tea, now as a sober baby, and a papa, actually crying, or buy a dino, Timo, and now quack, where say, and a papa be free, Cape Coast, and Patamo, or baby, then to an agent, say, or better so between you, who now were two one and more, I had day. E de amana enumu ene na mso ma wani ye edisa enko mo ina abwa ama wetumi e huno ni papa echi kwa inti se wini mo bisa description ya ede ma ino e si se se e ye wano wa wasu wawa a wako jemeni na inti na inti si muho a waba gana ha ba mwadi ya se ube tumi waba mwati media front desk anase wini mboxe me anase ufa ini webi reche ya yebe tumi abwa ama wetumi e huno ni papa and in Tina, you better ask if I say, uh, why ain't the GDS over why I'm a comment in the baby, but basically, no, the yes, you can say why ain't not you into me who know about my a year, ne papa, baby, or any or dra or what the more my gun and into me and Kosoa and Naho. Thank you very much, Brown. Thank you very much for this opportunity that you gave me, and thank you that you just stayed here and work and yeah, did this with me. Shout thank you, Ghana. <laughs> right, uh, definitely, um, as I said, uh, we've done this before and the result was positive. And I believe this will also uh, be another success story. So thank you very much. So just keep your fingers crossed and enjoy Ghana for the few days before we get to uh, find your father. Thank you very much for everything. All right, thank you too for watching. What is the name of the channel?